first and 10 South Carolina State from their own 37. And back to pass and going along is Nix. He's got him in, plucked out of the air and complete. 6-5, as we said, snap. This time looking on the slant, the ball is caught. What a catch, one hand snare. Newman has Walker to his right, shotgun snap. Joe had said throws to the right. This time Van Cleve catches it. He's got some room on the right side. First down and more down the right sideline. Demorier Van Cleve. And just underneath the big South Carolina State logo at midfield here. Newman back to pass, looking long the left for Luther. He's got a man and TJ Luther makes the catch. Wofford. And Newman's back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He's dragged, gets, breaks one tackle, can't break the second. Joe is sacked. Miller, Miller Mosley on the hold. Snap is good. Kick is up this time. Perfect. Lou Carter is true, and the Terriers are on the board. Second and six. Pitch out and smash behind the line. Big loss. In the backfield. Flanking Newman, first and 10 Terriers from their own 33. Joe's going to pull it down and run, and he's got room across the 40. 45 down to the 48-yard line. South Carolina, so third and a long nine after the loss. Newman hits as he throws, but gets it to Van Cleve for the first down into Bulldog territory across the 40. Out of the shotgun on second and one. Nick's looking to throw down the seam. It's complete, and get running room. 20, 10, 5. Down to the one yard line point lead. Quarterback keeper for Knicks. Was he down? He stretches and scores. Two backs flanking Mosley again. Shotgun snap. Mosley looks to his left. He'll throw. And that's picked off. Picked off at midfield. That is an interception. Here at home in front of their home crowd in Orangeburg. This time, Nix goes back. He avoids the sack. More pressure. Let's it fly. He's got a man wide open, and it's complete down at the 10. Inside the 10 to the 5, and down inside the 5. Bulldogs off, and they're showing it tonight. Second and long. Long pass down the right side, and it's intercepted. intercepted. How about that in the corner of the end zone? Newman takes the snap. He's back to throw. Looks long left out of the sideline and jumping the route. And is it picked? Yeah. I believe it is. Behind Nick. Gets the carry right up the middle. And Datron James trots in for the two-yard touchdown. And the offensive line coach wants to go with some of these guys. Newman's back to throw on third down. Throws left sideline. Blasted as he makes the catch. What a catch. Joe calls for it. He'll keep it. Option right. This time Newman will keep it. He's got the first down and much more across the 30. Two backs next to Newman. They'll give it right up the middle. And Morgan's got some room up the middle. Blake Morgan. Oh, just tripped up as he neared the 10-yard line. Mosley, the holder. Springer, the snapper. And Carter punches that one through. Actually, second down after the end of the quarter. And a give and a tackle for a loss. Nice play, knifing in by Jira Wilson. Right? Van Cleve is in motion, and Newman fakes the jet sweep and keeps it. Joe's got some running room. First down, out near the 40-yard line of Newman. Joe looks to throw right. He does. Over the seam, and that is picked off. Another Wofford interception. The third turnover of the night. Dylan Bredesen, a 41-yard attempt. The kick is up. Missed it. And he missed it. It was the line of scrimmage from the missed field goal. Nathan Walker is, oh, they fake a nice fake by Newman, and he's got the first down and more. He will throw. Throws right over the middle, and that's complete to Shaq Davis, who's inside the 20. Spins, hands off. Running to his left and absolutely waltzing into the end zone is LeBron Morris. Give it to Morgan. Blake's got a crease across the 30, 25, 20. Slices in. Snap to Mosley. Give to Mulligan, inside, Irvin Mulligan, touchdown, Terriers, his first collegiate touchdown. Not what I saw in practice. I was really confident coming into the into the ball game. Um, and obviously we didn't play very well. You know, you can't overcome the turnovers, you can't overcome those costly mistakes on offense. And, uh, you know, I, I just I just told uh, Todd, I mean, like, we, we've got, it, it's good. I mean, we've got two weeks now. We can look at what we do well and, um, we're going to learn from this. I put that on my, my sheet before I took the field tonight. Like, after tonight, we're going to know a lot about our football team. And I think we do. I mean, w when we watch this tape, we'll know kind of what direction we need to go moving forward. We've got a good football team. we got a f good football team. That's a good football team. They're talented. And when you don't execute like we did tonight, you're going to get yourself beat. Giving South Carolina State full credit for what they did, yeah. was it the point of attack that turned this game around? 
Yeah, I was really, uh, I would say the offensive line and the defensive line where we needed to win, um, we didn't win the O-line. I mean, not even, not even close. And so, you know, those guys have all the accolades. They're supposed to be the bell cows this year. And uh, we got manhandled up front. I mean, we just got manhandled. And we just got to say, hey, that's what it is. And we'll go back and we'll look at why. Um, but moving forward, we got to have more answers. And we'll find them. You know, we'll find them. Um, it's, not, it's not time to push the panic button, I promise you that. And maybe that's the takeaway from all this. Don't push the panic button. You've got a couple of weeks to work on things. And give South Carolina State full credit. They beat Wofford at their own game here tonight. For the Terriers, relax. You take a deep breath. You've got a couple of weeks to work on things. We'll see you next. The home opener against Sanford in a couple of weeks at Gibbs Stadium.